Combat Notes Perks You may have more than a hundred soldiers in your army, but each of them is unique thanks to their perks, which vary from class to class and are available based on their ability points. We'll teach you how perks work in Enlisted and reveal the intricacies of the most advanced ones. Perks There are dozens of them. You can run faster, jump higher, or handle weapons more effectively with them. Some are available to any soldier, while others are specialized for specific classes. They're located on this screen. All perks are divided into three categories. Mobility, vitality, weapon handling. And these aren't just meaningless icons. They also represent the abilities of your soldier, which you can use to unlock perks. These numbers are so important that you can even see them when recruiting new soldiers. The number depends on a random factor and also on the soldier's class. A machine gunner will be better with weapons, while an assaulter will be more agile, for example. If you're lucky enough to get a soldier with the highest possible ability points, there will be a star next to it. But these numbers aren't final, as your soldier's level increases after battles, with it, their points improve too. So the more ability points a soldier initially has, the more perks they can learn. If you want to build a really cool squad, be sure to spend time and silver on hiring and selecting the best soldiers. Less useful soldiers can always be sent to the rear, and you'll get back most of their recruitment cost. Passive Bonuses Depending on the soldier's class and tier, each has a starting perk. When recruiting new soldiers, it's indicated here. And if a soldier is already in your army, it'll be marked with a check mark on the perk unlock screen. More importantly, this perk stacks with similar unlockable perks. Therefore, when recruiting new soldiers, you should pay attention not only to their tier, but also to their starting perk too, which can be more important for some classes. By the way, it doesn't cost any ability points. In addition to the individual starting perks, every soldier gets passive boosts from their three abilities, increased sprint speed, increased stamina, and reduced vertical recoil. These bonuses depend on the number of points associated with their respective abilities, regardless if they're already spent on perks. Simply put, the more points, the higher the boost from the abilities. These are the basics. Now we'll go through the perks themselves, especially the more complex and less intuitive ones. We'll also talk about the optimal unlock path for each. Infantry. A regular soldier has 10 health points. Do you know that? And the same amount if they're downed. The plus 35% vitality perk only adds to the base health resulting in 13.5 HP. The toughest soldiers in the game are those who have this perk plus the starting perk increasing vitality. Combining these two perks can create a tank with almost 15 HP. By the way, look at the weapon stats. You can easily determine how many body shots a soldier can withstand before getting down. Fun facts about damage. All bullets deal full damage to the body, less than half to the legs and double to the neck and head. Now you know. If you want to recover from injuries faster, you'll need this perk. It allows you to get back on your feet in 2.3 seconds instead of the standard nine seconds when your soldier's downed. Keep in mind that soldiers only enter the downed state if they have a med kit in their inventory. Without one, well, it's certain death. Against regular injuries, unlock this perk. In Enlisted, all soldiers have passive health regeneration that activates out of combat when you haven't fired for more than one second. With this perk, the regeneration becomes slightly faster and will restore your HP up to six instead of the default three, which is especially useful if you don't have a backpack full of medkits. Let's continue with weapon perks that many commanders find confusing. The Firearm Reload Speed perk works with all handheld weapons, including pistols and anti-tank launchers. The only exception is mortars. This perk, however, only speeds up bolt-action rifles, like these. If your soldier doesn't have one, you don't need it. Weapon Changing Speed affects not only guns, but all equipment you'll be able to switch faster to grenades, mines, or melee weapons as well. Pilots. For pilots, the most important perks will be those related to their aircraft. Flight stamina. It represents how quickly a pilot will tire from withstanding the G-forces of sharp maneuvers and when their vision will start to darken. By increasing it and its regeneration rate, you can further delay this moment. If the overload threshold is still exceeded, the pilot will start to lose consciousness and control of the aircraft. 
In this case, the perk will be useful, as it allows you to regain control quicker once the pilot has recovered. And now some useful information about visibility and targets. Plus 50% enemy aircraft detection range. It not only increases the distance for identifying an enemy from 1,500 to 2,250 meters, but also the distance at which the lead indicator appears from 1,000 to 1,500 meters. However, there is a peculiarity here. Slide, please. A pilot's vision is divided into focused and peripheral vision. Everything that's in the peripheral area has a 50% penalty to target identification distance, and the pilot cannot detect anything outside of it at all. To improve these characteristics, use this perk. It expands the angles of focused and peripheral vision, making it easier to spot enemies. Both of these perks also work for air gunners. Tankers. Tanker squads have their own unique perks, so it's important to consider the size and roles of the crew. This will determine the proper selection of specialized perks that will directly affect the vehicle's performance. If the crew consists of only two tankers, the gunner also takes on the role of the loader. This means you can unlock either the faster reload speed or the improved aiming, which allows you to move the gun in two planes simultaneously. If there's a third crew member, the commander takes on the loader's duties. However, there's a catch. While the commander uses the hatch to survey the surrounding, the loader's specialized perks have no effect. With four or more crew members, the commander and radio operator no longer influence the vehicle's characteristics. You can unlock any perks, but for the commander, repair kit usage and firefighting speed are preferable, as he's the one who usually patches up the vehicle when damaged. By the way, you don't need to worry about correct crew placement in the hangar. In battle, the tankers will automatically take positions that best match their perks. As a final note, remember that any unlocked perk can be discarded if you don't like the result of your chosen perk combination. So you can always make adjustments or start from scratch. Keep experimenting, friends.